Steve and Kenny have just helped us to our pitch. Such a friendly welcome. Wasn't so it? excited going out. And we've ordered the buggy. Yes. Be delivered to the pitch in half an hour or so. So we just need to get this place ship shaped and have some lunch. And for lunch, because it's Christmas, we're just going to have dessert because I found a key lime pie. Yeah, baby. I'm not really a lime person, but this is superb. Mmm. Very zingy. This was a very pretty one with squirty cream and extra nuts and things. And they're just extra faff. They're nice, but the actual limey mixture and the nuts of the base, the biscuit base, oh, it's awesome. <laughs> this is completely my kind of flavour. And if ever you invite me to a party and you need me to bring food, ask me to bring my grandma's lemon pie. It's a bit like this, but nice. Oh, that's nice. So it's Boyd's campground we're at, or Boyd's RV park we're at. Um, have a look at some of these rigs. We look tiny in amongst some of these. Look at them, some big stuff here. And what a great service. You order your buggy at reception and they deliver it right to your pitch. <laughs> this is exciting. So there we have it. This is our wheels for the next couple of days. Do you like this, George? I do. You at the back. I'm getting the entire back to myself. <laughs> no, I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and it's like brand new. Check out the alloys on it as well. Okay, I have a question. What? How much would hiring a normal car have cost us in comparison to this? Yeah, but it wouldn't have been as much fun as that. Come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, right, let's do this. How is it, my love? It's good. First thoughts? Uh, <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun and the kids are really excited. George is beside himself. He's hanging off the back. <laughs> be right back. Hey, George. Hey. So pleased I did my hair today. <laughs> Work file. Oh, it's a bit windswept and a bit cold, but we found a signpost. And one of them even points to Old Trafford, so Harry's a happy boy. Yeah. And Ukraine right at the top. Yeah. Did you win it, George? Absolutely. <laughs> I want one of these. <laughs> All right, my love. Oh. <laughs> and I am in a t shirt. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> the kids were getting a bit hungry, so we popped into Margaritaville for a bite to eat. Conk fritters, because we've never heard of those before. The most enormous portion of nachos because you know why not and some shrimp now we only ordered starters because i knew looking at the calorie counter that it was going to be massive so we'll just see how these go before we actually move on to anything else after a bite to eat we took a walk up and down the world famous deval street which was awesome deval street is known as the party epicenter of key west and it's the island's main drag running from the north to the south from the atlantic ocean to the gulf of mexico the thoroughfares lined with bars pubs outdoor cafes shops galleries restaurants and attractions key west also holds a christmas lights competition during december the competition sees residents and businesses go all out in decorating their homes and storefronts with colorful lights and festive decorations vying for the title of the best Christmas lights in town. The competition adds to the already festive atmosphere in Key West during the holiday season and is a much anticipated tradition for both locals and visitors alike. Good morning Georgie. <laughs> That's Father Christmas Bean. When we go away for Christmas we give the kids some small presents on Christmas Day and then we celebrate Christmas again when we get home. I like it. Good morning. Well, it's Christmas Day for us, and we've decked the buggy out with the Christmas lights. <laughs> and of course, the GoPro. Let's head into Key West. I think we're going to IHOP for pancakes for breakfast. This morning, Lindsay's driving. This should be fun. Let's do this. Fortunately, it's Christmas Day morning, and there's not many people on the road. Fortunately for them. So we've just filled up the fuel, and it's Eleven dollars and forty-two cents. And there's chickens everywhere in this town. Look, there's two here at the petrol station. <laughs> That's it. Full tank of fuel. Let's hit the road, girl. Thought you'd be the one for me. Won't you tell me how you feel? I shared my dream with you until the morning. Everybody else have done it right. 
boys were hounding us for a go in the buggy, so we found an empty parking lot and let them have a go. Eddie's had two driving lessons so far. Eddie's had two driving lessons and one flying lesson, and now he's in control of the buggy. And here he is, Harry and Steve holding on for dear life. All I want to say Ain't no good to look the other way I bloody love a good tree and this is a kapok tree. It can grow up to 10 feet a year and the Mayan people thought it was special because the branches reach up to heaven and they thought the souls of the dead used them to reach heaven. Mile marker zero. Every mile between here and Key Largo is marked with a mile marker and this is the zero point and there's 107 of them more. Truman Waterfront Park. We was going to the Eco Discovery Centre over there yesterday but it was closed and the boys spotted a soccer pitch over here. So we asked them what they wanted to do after breakfast and they wanted to go and play soccer on the pitch so that's what we're doing. We're at the southernmost point of the island and of continental US. And we'd stop for a photo, but the queue is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Driving around much of Key West, taking in the sights and all it had to offer, we stopped to take a look at the huge cruise ship that was docked at Mallory Square. We had a walk around the market, as you do, then decided to head back to the van to warm up and have a break. <laughs> Although George, waving the GoPro around, encouraged this guy to have a race with us on the way back. We've come back for a couple of hours of rest and relaxation, which has been great. And one thing I've got to praise this RV for is its heat. <laughs> the heating in here is amazing. It's way better than ours, isn't it, love? <laughs> it's quicker. Yeah. It's much quicker to get it up to temperature. So we're all toasty inside now because it's been about 15 degrees today. So not that, not that really warm. We've all had hoodies on. Um, but yeah, gonna go back out in the cold, hoodies on, and go and get some dinner. And one other thing, I know you guys are waiting to get a, a look around this, and we're gonna do a, um, a review of the van before we hand it back. We will get around to that. A tour of the van. A tour of the van. <laughs> the review, I don't think we'll <laughs> But yeah, yeah, we'll show you the good stuff, we'll show you the bad stuff. So we jumped back in the buggy and headed back to Duval Street, where we were looking for a restaurant for some dinner. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this restaurant's got two entrances, one on Duval Street, which is really busy, and one behind me, which is just took around the corner. And the best thing is, this area is the main eating area, and normally in great weather, you'd be outside enjoying it. Oh, everything about this menu is lush. So much nice stuff. Thumbs up. <laughs> Pleasure, Merry Christmas. So tonight we have a marinated skirt steak. So we met with our waiter, Zach, who was extremely helpful, and took the time to go through some of the things on the menu we didn't understand. We decided to go for a selection and just share everything. We picked a selection of conch fritters, jerk chicken and coconut prawns for our, our starters. We can't decide which was best between the coconut prawns and the jerk chicken. George says the jerk wings were his absolute favourite wings ever and they were delicious. Um, but the prawns were amazing as well. The conch fritters were kind of like, yeah, they're all right. But it was absolutely beautiful. It was spicy, but it was balanced out with like a garlicky creamy sauce. And the, the salad, the coleslaw was amazing. And it was coconutty and it was, um, but not sickly coconutty. And it was pineapple and it was limey and it was citrusy. It was just beautiful. Best Christmas dinner ever. <laughs> Best Christmas dinner that I've got cooked. <laughs> Best Christmas dinner ever. 
stars. That was by far the best meal we've had on this trip. It was delicious. There was something for everyone. The fish was spectacular. The burger was amazing. Everything was wonderful. And Zach, our server, was fantastic. Yeah, so much so we've left him a Google review of five stars. Yes, five stars from the Remy Radfords. Mm. Let's go. This looks like a really lovely place too. And back to our golf buggy <laughs> with the lights on. What do you think of that? Very Christmassy, isn't it? <laughs> and because golf carts all have the same key, we have been given a lock. We're told to lock it up through the steering wheel every time we leave it. <laughs> like locking your bike. Behave, boys. Behave. <laughs> morning. It's quite a late one this morning. We've had a bit of a lie in. It's 10.30 and we've got to be off the campground at 11. So we've got half an hour. Um, but I figure I need to show you guys around this place quickly before we go. So, you ready, Lens? Yes. Let's do this. Okay, quick reminder, we're at Boyd's RV Park on Key West. Um, it is a lovely premium RV park, wasn't cheap, but we wanted somewhere special for Christmas, right? And it's, it's as much about the location as it is about the, the premium level of the, yeah. the, um, the park. It's a great location for jumping on a buggy and heading into town and having an afternoon or an evening in town before coming back. Which is what we've done over Christmas. Uh, first off, behind me, we've got a, uh, there is a food van behind us. It's a Cuban one. We'd have loved to have sampled it, but unfortunately it's not been open while we've been here. No, unfortunately. The reception staff, when we arrived to, to book and also to check in, were really welcoming and really professional. Sorted it out, no problem. There's a games area with a pool table, football table, and drinks, and even a table to sit and chat at. This is open between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. each day. The swimming pool is open until 10 p.m. every night. It is a warm, lovely, heated pool, and the boys had the most amazing Christmas Eve swim. There are two really good laundry rooms with at least four washing machines and four tumble dryers in each. And I'm really sorry that I didn't take, make much use of it, but it was Christmas, so. <laughs> Are you driving, are you? Yeah, it's wet on this side so you can sit there. <laughs> Coleman making RVs, I didn't know that. I saw the little, um, like, caravan style. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen they make small caravans over here, but uh, yeah. not RVs. Now, Boyd's does have its own boat, boat launch into the ocean. This guy's got all the toys. I filmed that on the way in. Yeah, it's a good rig. Waterfront pictures are beautiful. Right. With their own little decking area for sunbathing. But they seem to be small ones. They're not going to cater for many of the big rigs on there. And tents look. Wow. Another toilet block there. There's a few toilet blocks, but they're not very big. People seem to use the facilities in their RVs here. Um, toilet blocks are small. They generally have a couple of urinals, um, one toilet and one shower, and that's it in each block. Wow. That'd be like a train. It's an RV towing a ship. Some larger sites here on the seafront. It's interesting the mix of vehicles, isn't it? Right. Look at that there. Yeah, wow. Wow. Some of these big fifth wheels are just fantastic. And that brings us back to our pitch right here. Okay, quick look at the facilities before we leave. A couple of sinks, urinals, one toilet cubicle, and one shower cubicle, which is ample, but just small and very clean, I've got to say. It seems that most people use their onboard facilities in these big rigs here, because there is full um, fresh water and gray and black water to the pitch. So they don't need big toilets. What a fantastic stop. It's been great, hasn't it, for Christmas? Yeah. Great really to... recommend this site it has been awesome mm. the weather is still not great so we're going to hang around the keys for another one or two days yet maybe but we don't know where we're going i think we're going to head to marathon
this is gonna be the best restaurant we've ever been to. Really good, huh? Almost as good as five guys. 